So in the last video, we successfully purchased a new hosting account with uh, Namecheap and we set up our SSL certificate as well. In this video, I want to show you how you can add a new domain name to your hosting and how to connect it to our Namecheap server if that domain name is registered elsewhere. So if the domain name is not registered with the Namecheap. So first of all, let's go to our cPanel. So we have our main domain, our main website, our primary domain here set up properly, but we can add more domains to our server. If you scroll down here, here you can see that add-on domains. Here you can see this add-on domains in the statistics. And we haven't used this at all. So we can add two more websites. We can host two more websites on this server, apart from the buildawebsitetraining.com. So I registered a new domain name at GoDaddy. If you log into your GoDaddy account and you are here on the dashboard and you go to domain, here you can see all your domains listed. So right now I only have one domain. So I register this build a website training dot info. And let's say I don't want to move this domain name to Namecheap, but I want to host a new website on my Namecheap hosting account. So I can do that by going to domains and click add on domains. And here I just paste the domain name I purchased at GoDaddy and just click add a domain. And we have this, these warnings popping up. Oops, looks like build a website training.info pointed to remote name servers. So Namecheap realized that this domain name isn't pointed to our hosting account. And it says to add the domain as an add-on, you need to have it pointed to dns1.namecheaphosting.com and dns2.namecheaphosting.com. Check this article for more info or validate it by following the instructions provided below. So we don't need to worry about these options because we will point this domain to our server. So basically our hosting account, so if we go back here, so our hosting account has an IP address. In, in our case, this is a shared IP address. And what name servers do is they help connect a domain name to the IP address of a server. So in our case, if we change the name servers, if we change the name server settings of this domain name to what uh, Namecheap recommended us, then this domain name will be pointed to our server. And then we will be able to add this domain as an add-on domain to our server. Because if we go back here and click add-on domains, it's empty. We couldn't, Namecheap couldn't add it because the name servers weren't pointing to this IP address. Okay, so we need to change that. So we need to go back to GoDaddy and here on the domain, we click manage DNS and let's scroll down and here we can see the name servers. So right now we have the default GoDaddy name servers. We need to change that. So let's click change. And here we need to select enter my own name servers. And here we need to add the two name servers that Namecheap told us to do. By the way, these, by the way, when we registered our hosting account, Namecheap sent us an email with all the details of this account. And here you can also find the name servers that we need. So if we go to the email, these are the name servers that we need. So let's just copy it. Let's go back, paste it, 
paste it again and change this to 2 and click save. Okay, we don't have to worry about these uh, warning. Yes, I consent to the update and click continue. Okay, and it's successfully changed. These changes are usually not immediate. Sometimes we have to wait hours for these changes to take effect. But um, most of the time it only takes a, a few minutes. All right, let's go back to cPanel on our Namecheap hosting account. And uh, let's try to add this domain again. Let's see if enough time has passed. So this means we have to wait a little longer. So I'll just pause this video and I will come back a little bit later. Okay, so let's go back and let's check this again. Okay, so we don't have anything added here yet. Let's add the domain name and click add domain. Okay, and it was successful. Okay, so we just need, needed to wait a few more minutes. And now Namecheap was able to detect the new name server settings on our GoDaddy domain name. And now it was able to add this new domain to our hosting account. Again, it's now enabling the SSL certificate for this new domain name as well. Okay, and if we go back here, and if we go to add on domains, now we have the new domain listed here. Okay, so this is how you can add a new domain to your Namecheap web hosting account. And basically this is the same process. And now you know how you can change the name server settings on a GoDaddy domain name to point it to your Namecheap server. But basically the process is the same if you registered your domain name elsewhere. So if it's not uh, registered on GoDaddy, if it's registered with some other registrar, the process is the same. The settings may look a little bit different, but all you need to do is find the name server settings and then change the name servers to the name servers that uh, Namecheap provided. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. And thanks for watching.